Alrighty folks, uh, so I want to give you an update on uh, land yacht tuning and uh, so when we last left you uh, we had a number of problems and I'm pleased to say we are cutting through them even if there are you know quite a few still there. So one thing that a lot of people commented on was that the tachometer was jumping around the place. Well I'm pleased to say we have cured that uh, by means of a big thick grounding strap between the motor chassis and the uh, body of the vehicle and that has also completely removed the last of the encoder noise so that now I can pretty much rev the motor all the way up um, without any, you know, nasty noises on the, on the tachometer and we can, you know, regen right back down to zero. Now, we have also changed a lot of our parameters here and it's resulted in quite a few benefits to us. So let's have a quick look, see here. Well, I'm using a 10 inch, Android tablet Here because it does make the tuning a little bit easier now. There have been a lot of very good Suggestions I'm hoping you you guys will be able to see this because these tablet screens sometimes they get a shine on them and Can't see them, but so probably some of the major things that we've changed here um, Have to be have to bring our boost up our field weakening down uh, our min slip down our max slip up quite a lot um, Minimum frequency and everything else here is pretty much changed the same or stayed the same got my overcurrent limit at 800 amps Which is you know kind of too high, but hmm, I'll be about the max I can do I have my current limit set at 500 amps peak um, So that gives us you know plenty of current to work with and you know pretty much everything else is pretty straightforward 5% amp min 5% throttle ramp uh, Regens at 30% you know everything else is pretty much uh, Where you would expect it to be for kind of a default Tune with you know, maybe a bit more slip in there now So our biggest problem uh, Had been zero torque now I've got here is my display, um, so showing 196 volts and zero amps because we're not moving at the minute. Um, and I am in, I'm going to go into second gear, handbrake on. Now, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to slowly advance the throttle here. And we'll see a little bit of current. So now we've picked up the slack. I'm going to keep pushing and we're now actually moving against the handbrake okay so we now have quite a bit we can pull the handbrake tighter we can try again you know you can hear it kind of wanting to break the handbrake loose and it, it can you know it's actually able to push against the handbrake now uh, in second gear with you know quite only a small amount of battery current now the second thing is if we release our handbrake there's a tiniest bit of a slope in the direction of travel here and if we just apply the throttle get about three or four amps the car actually starts to move now like we're actually moving uh, with just three to four amps so you know six to eight hundred watts of electric power uh, going into our uh, our inverter here now this was completely impossible before like the current would be you know 30 or 40 amps before the vehicle would get moving at all um, so that and actually having some usable 
zero torque uh, are probably our big accomplishments. Um, now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just mount the... Uh, yeah. Oh, what do you think of my cool M5 trim, guys? Black. Mm. And black. And I've got, to, I've got to get my switch for here. Oh, look at that. Black M5 trim. See... When I've been getting frustrated with all of this tuning crap, I've been just fitting M5 parts to the yacht to kind of cheer myself up. And the upshot of it is that the more M5 parts that I fit, the faster the car gets. Um, so, you know, for once, uh, doing some of that stuff actually does work. Now, I accept I'm probably going to be way out of sync here, so... Sorry. Uh, my camera is just I just don't have the time to worry about it. So I'm going to mount it up here on a window and I'm going to show you guys the rest of uh, What we got going on here now you guys will be able to see it. Of course the Sun has decided to come out now Anyhow, all right. This is where we're at So we know now that we can get some zero rpm torque and if we want to do a hill start, you know, I got my hand on the handbrake here. I can just advance the throttle, pick up the slack, brake off, and I can move the car forward. Now, we can drive along here now with very little current, like, you know, 15 amps, and we're kind of walking speed, um, you know, just kind of pottering around here. Now, where things are still giving me trouble uh, is where we want to apply I guess what I would call some continuous acceler acceleration so let's say I was pulling out onto a road here now and I had traffic coming and I wanted to get up to speed um, so like in the with the DC mo motor, I would have started off in third gear and just put my f my foot down. So if I do that now, in second gear, I get one or two things happen. Obviously, I've got a trip there. Um, so that's one of the two things that occur. The other thing that occurs is the camera falls down. All right, so... So if I apply throttle here to get up to speed, and I push it, I just, you know, foot to the floor here, and I'm just tripping now. Um, instead of, you know, accelerating the vehicle. Um, and that's, you know, to me that is not a good situation. Um, now I have my slip turned up pretty high there so I'm gonna go ahead and just back that down a touch obviously so let's go back to seven seven Hertz F slip max okay so basically yeah I'm not able to get what I would consider a linear acceleration I'll either get current limiting down at low rpm or I'll get it as I try to push. Now if I try to accelerate here, I don't do too bad, but I can feel the current limit just holding me back there. Um, let's just try that again from a start and see if we've got rid of that trip. Um, yeah, current limit's in now, and I'm not going anywhere. Foot to the floor, you know, now again, as the RPMs come up, yes, I do get, you know, I do get some power coming in. Um, having the slip turned up high has meant that I can maintain speed against a hill. You know, but I've got my current limit is just catching me. Every time I pump the throttle, the current limit is just catching me and pulling me, me back there. So, a little bit of a shudder there. Nothing too major, nothing you'd be worried about. Um, so, we're quite respectable here. So, 
So we're going to be making a left turn here now out onto a, a fairly minor road, but nonetheless, I just got to be careful. You know, so I'm going to pull out here onto a throttle. Like I'm, I'm pretty sluggish here. And you know, pushing the throttle. Now, actually that the revs came up, now I can actually get some decent acceleration. So I've kind of gone over a hump um, in the rev range. Just gone up a little bit of an incline. I'm pulling 110 amps here. I'm quite respectable acceleration wise here now two and a half thousand revs second gear through here now we want to get up to speed here so i'm going to push the throttle a little and there's my current limit back off again just letting the revs up there we go now i got 140 amps or so and i'm accelerating quite nicely stay in second gear now and just try and maintain speed against this hill which I can do with the higher F-slip max um, I had F-slip max at 3 hertz previously it just wasn't able to maintain speed against any kind of a hill but we can do that now uh, just holding 40 miles per hour here um, there's various you know uphills down dales kind of thing here Accelerate a little bit here. I can do that. Again, we're up to a hill here, and there's my current limit just pulling me back right when I don't need it. And you know, it's just very hard then because I have to nearly pump the throttle to get the current limit to come off and then reapply the power. It's, um, it's just finding my way through these little holds and traps in the rev range um, it's just turning into quite a challenge I have to say now regen is extremely good I'm going to regen a little bit here now we got you know 20 22 amps of regen there on the brake pedal and I want to alrighty folks um, so that is about where we are at the minute now um, so I hope you've been able to see from some of these clips. Uh, basically, our problem is just being able to linearly accelerate without hitting current limits or some other problem along the way. Uh, the good news is we now have, you know, low stroke zero torque available. Uh, so that problem's been solved. And... Up the high end of the rev range, I think I can get power. I think I'm pretty good. But I've got this gap in the middle. It's probably about the best way to describe it. So, all right. I will leave you at that. I'll um, go back to the drawing board. And as usual, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, check the links in the description. Uh, for Patreon and PayPal, should you wish to financially support any of these crazy projects. Also in there you'll find links to my GitHub, uh, web shop, and forum, where you can do GitHub, web shop, and forum stuff. So, until next time, uh, happy mid-range tuning. <laughs>